So boys and girls, hopefully by now you've received your special Haggadah with the special craft kit. And I'm just you can go back to page 2. And your first craft is to create a Bedikat Chametz set. A set for Bedikat Chametz. The feather, the candle, and the spoon. Um, your feather, candle, and spoon will look a little bit different in your bag. If you don't have a spoon... By mistake, you can probably find one in your house. Um, we use the glue gun to attach these to the paper. However, um, if you don't have a glue gun at home, um, or your parent is not available to help you use it, I put a piece of double-sided tape um, stuck on the plastic bag. What you can do is you can have an adult help you take a scissors, take a small piece of double-sided tape, um, and put it on each of these items the feather, the candle, and the spoon, so that you could stick it to the paper. Save some double-sided tape for later when there's going to be one more item on the Orchatz page, an actual um, look-alike towel that you want to attach. Don't, f- don't forget that all of your work should be done on a non chametz surface. Don't do it next to any food, um, or and you should do it in an area that's kosher for Pesach, Wash your hands so you can use this at your Seder table. So boys and girls, by on these pages of the Haggadah, we already learned about the Simanim, so you can color in the very nice illustrations over here. Remember we learned the songs, Roa Lezecher Karban Pesach. This Roa, the boiled uh, chicken wing or neck bone, reminds us of the Karban Pesach of the Jews had a special Pesach offering when they left Mitzrayim, right? And Beitza, the egg, reminds us of the Karbar Chagiga, um, a offering brought when the Jews had a Bet HaMikdash, but it's also round because of a sign of mourning that we don't no longer have a Bet HaMikdash. Marar reminds us of the bitter work that the Jews did in Egypt. And on the next page, we have the haroset. We have the mixture of ground apples, nuts, figs, dates, cinnamon, and red wine. Reminds us of the difficult work that the Jewish people had to do in Mitzrayim. So you can color that. And the um, karpas reminds us of the avodat perach, the sweat and the tears, the hard work. So we dip the parsley, potato, celery, radish, or onion, any vegetable basically, in salt water. And finally, chazeret, the raw horseradish or main lettuce, that reminds us again of the Jewish people in Mitzrayim having to do backbreaking work. And now, if we go to the next page, which you can color as well, we are going to start setting up our Seder plate. Underneath the Seder plate, with all of those six items that we learned about, there's going to be three matzot. And these three matzot have a name. The Kohen, the Levi, Israel. For three types of the Jewish people, there are Kohanim, who were the sons of Aharon, HaKohen, the brother of Moshe. They got the job to work in the Bet HaMikdash and the Mishkan. The Levi, Moshe was a Levi and Aaron was a Levi, but the Leviim were from the f- tribe, the Shevet of Levi, and there were many more Levim besides for Moshe and Aaron's family. They were the helpers to serve in the Mishkan. Maybe some of your parents, maybe your father, maybe a Kohen or a Levi. And then there is Yisrael. A Yisrael is all the rest of the Shvatim, all the rest of the Jewish people that didn't work in the Mishkan, Hashem's holy people. And each of those Matzot have a special job the top matzah, the Kohen matzah, is used when we say motzi matzah and we eat it to eat matzah. And it's also used for Lecha Mishnah to have a set, to have two matzot, just like we have on Shabbat, two chalot. The Levi matzah, that's the one that we break when we do yachatz. And we save half for the afikoman, and the other half we actually eat together with the Kohen matzah by motzi matzah. And the Israel matzah, the bottom one, 
is used for Lecha Mishnah because it remains whole. You need a whole matzah or a whole piece of challah on a Shabbat that when it's not Pesach for, for Lecha Mishnah. So you use the Yisrael and the Kohen as your two whole ones. And the Yisrael is eaten by the Korech sandwich. When we make a sandwich from the um, from Marar and Matzah. Next page in Haragada, we have the four cups of wine. Now you can take in your um, special packet, you're going to have silver matzah stickers. Okay, um, the way you, and you can put these silver matzah stickers to decorate these cups. You can make them silver, the little matzah stickers. Okay, you have eight of them. Four will be used on this page and four later. Okay, now why do we have four cups of wine anyway? Because in the Torah, in the Torah, there are four psukim that Hashem says, four sayings that Hashem says He's going to do for the Jewish people to take them out of Mitzrayim. The first is, Vehot etchem, I will take you out. And the second one is, Vehitzalti etchem, I will save you. I will redeem you. I will take you for me. Now, what does what's the difference between all these four? So, I will take you out means the Jewish people did not have to be slaves working anymore. And I will save you from Paro that the Egyptians won't hurt them even if they're not slaves anymore. And I will redeem you. That means I will take the Jewish people out of Mitzrayim, far away from Paro and Mitzrayim. And then finally, I will take you for me, for my nation. That's when we got the Torah and we became Hashem's special nation. All of these things already happened. We're going to learn that we have a fifth cup, a big cup, the Koshal Eliyahu, which we don't drink because that is for a, a fifth promise that Hashem gave us. And I will bring you to the land of Israel. And we save that for Mashiach. When Mashiach comes and will bring us back to the land of Israel. Now, we drink these four cups not in a row. We actually drink them, the first one by Kiddush. The second one after we read the whole Haggadah. The third one after we do Berkat Amazon. And the last one after we do Hallel. So there's a very big break usually between the first one and the second one. Berchad Amazon and Halal are pretty close together. So it's uh, you have a little break in the middle. We shouldn't drink them one, two, three, four. Then you'll really get, and uh, you might not feel so well, even if you drink grape juice. And this is the famous Koshal Eliyahu. Notice I added a little red, um, shiny piece of plastic to look like wine. You have such a piece of plastic in your Haggadah kit that you can use to decorate that. And you can color this one um, a nice silver color with your, uh, with your pen. Um, keep a, do you do have a, a sticker, a Koshal Eliyahu sticker, but you're not going to use that on this page. Because um, we have a special, um, we have a special use for it later on. So on this page, you just color nicely and decorate it there. Now the koshal Eliyahu, which I explained to you on the last slide, is for the fifth promise that Hashem said, "Veheveti etchem ela aretz," and I will bring you to the land Hashem et yadi that I swore last lateto tal Avram Yitzchak Yaakov to give it to Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov and atati otah lachem boroshani Hashem and I will give it as an inheritance. I am Hashem. So that is about going into the land of Israel. And even though the Jews did go into the land of Israel in the past, in the days of Yehoshua, after Moshe passed away, nevertheless we traditionally do not drink this cup. We save it for Eliyahu. Because Eliyahu has a very special job. Our rabbis tell us that Eliyahu Hanavi is going to be Mevaser HaGeula, the one to bring the news 
that Mashiach is coming and to take the Jews back to Eretz Yisrael. Why did Elio get this job? There was a story that in Elio's times, the Jews were really not keeping Torah mitzvot and they were going against Hashem. And Hashem said, and Eliyahu was loyal to Hashem and he was trying to get the Jews to do Teshuvah. And at one point, Eliyahu got frustrated and he told Hashem, I'm the only one, everyone else has abandoned your Brit, your covenant, your promise. All the other Jews, they're abandoning the Torah mitzvot, they're abandoning Hashem. And Hashem said, Elio, no, 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 they are not going to abandon me. The Jewish people love me and they will never give up Hashem. And you will see, Elio, your special job will be that every time there's a Brit Milah, the Jewish people are making the special promise by having their newborn baby be um, brought into the promise of the Jewish people by having a circumcision of Brit Milah. You will come and visit, and every Pesach night that the Jewish people remember going out of Mitzrayim, you will come and visit, and when Mashiach comes, you will be the one to announce to the Jews, get ready, Mashiach is here. So that's the significance, that's what this special cup on the table means, and we really fill it up later on by the end of the Seder. So boys and girls, the first thing we do at the Seder is Kadesh. We make Kiddush. We say a special Kiddush for the Yom Tov that's found in the Haggadah. And, it, and we, of course we say Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu Malach Olam Borei Piri Agafen. And then we can drink the wine or grape juice. Now on this page, how you're going to decorate it is you're going to take a sticker one of the big cup stickers and put it over that big cup and you're going to take a little uh, plastic um, red shiny uh, piece and glue it over the cup to look like red wine. You can cut it a little better than I did if you want with the scissors and you can color the wine cup if you want a silver color and that is how you could decorate this page. Of course, you can get uh, even more excited, and you can de- you can uh, you can go and decorate um, your. Let's get a nice purple color. You could decorate your grape juice bottle, nice purple. Um, you can have a little fun, whatever you want. Uh, this is your coloring book to enjoy. Just color nicely in between the lines and. Don't scribble all over because we want this to be nice for your say there, okay? So you can color a silver color here, and um, I'm sure you could do a better job than I can with my finger on the iPad over here. Enjoy. Okay, so this is the Urchatz page. After we make Kiddush, we go wash our hands. Kadesh Urchatz. We wash our hands. Remember, we don't make a bracha this time. Now, to decorate this page, we have some exciting crafts for you to do. You will see in your craft bag a popsicle stick with a piece of material on it. Uh, This one over here is not the same color. You probably have a blue one in your bag. And that you want to glue on the page, maybe um, next to the next to the washing cup or anywhere you want really because it's you can choose whatever you want to do um now if you don't have hot glue or a glue gun um or your um parents are not available to help you with that i don't use it without your parents then you can use some the leftover of that double-sided tape that i gave you and put the double-sided tape um in the back of the popsicle stick don't forget to take off the piece of paper on the back of the double-sided tape so that it'll stick on both sides and you stick that to the paper. You also have a blue piece of tissue paper and you can cut it out um, a little better than I did mine over here and make it look like there's water inside the cup and you can color and have a good time. Now if you notice on the bottom of the page over here um, it's set, there's a little folded up paper and I'll explain what that is right now. So in your Haggadah, you will find a bunch of papers um, should be should be inside the Haggadah book that you received. You'll find a bunch of papers that 
um, are meant to be cut up to be used and pasted into the Haggadah. The first of those papers has little six little divrei Torah, has a to- little Torah picture that reminds you that by the said there, this is a dvar Torah that you could say. Um, the one that goes on this page says Urchatz on it, and you put it here on page sixteen. And the dvar Torah is that first we do Kadesh, then Urchatz. This teaches us that if we try to be kadosh, holy, and we do the right things, Hashem will help us, urchatz, washing away our yetzahara and making us clean and pure. Okay, so you're going to cut this up, cut this one out, okay, and you're going to use some glue to paste it in there. Now what I did here is a cute thing, I folded up the, I folded up the Dvar Torah, just um, left the Torah uh, sticking out um, so that you can fold and unfold it by the Seder to read. But you can do you can do it whatever you want. You can paste the whole thing down, whatever is easier for you. Karpas. After Kadesh Urchatz. Karpas. We dip a vegetable in May Melach in salt water. We say a bracha of Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokeinu Melech Olam, Borei Pri um, Remember, we did not wash, we did not say a bracha when we washed our hands by Orchatz, because we're not eating bread now, we're eating a vegetable dipped in salt water. And we only have to halachically wash our hands for bread, um, not when we wash our hands when we dip a vegetable in, in a liquid. Now on the craft page, boys and girls, you have a very special craft for karpas that you can actually have your vegetable dipping into salt water. We have a green paper that has a picture of celery on it. Maybe it looks a little bit different than this one. I think the one that you have in your bag actually looks like a celery with the leaves coming out of it. And you also have a little gold, a little gold uh, pin that you can stick make a hole inside the celery, stick it inside the celery, and stick it through the back of the paper, and fold it out. Ask an adult to help you do it. And then you can put some green tissue uh, on, green tissue paper on the bowl, so it looks like it is um, it is water. And then you could actually move that uh, green vegetable and make it dip in the salt water. Here you have another Dvar Torah, to paste. So this is the Dvar Torah that you're going to put over there where it says Karpas. You're going to cut that out and paste that on the bottom. You can fold it up if you want or paste it across the whole bottom. Um, Why do we have to use a vegetable from the ground to do Karpas? The answer is to remind us that we also come from the Adama, the ground. Remember what we learned in Bereshit that Hashem made Adam from the ground. But look how special we can become, right? Even though we come from a very low place, just like the vegetable which came from the ground, we can become a person who is Hashem's special person doing Torah and mitzvot. So that's a, less, a lesson for us not to give up hope. And what does the main melach remind us of? What does the salt water remind us of? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> the crying of the Jewish people. Okay, so that is how you decorate the Karpas page. Now, just in case that you're wondering how to, um, how it's going to look on the back side with that uh, gold pin, this is how it looks like. It has two tabs that you fold outwards so that it um, stays on the paper. You push it through the paper. You make a little hole there. Careful not to rip the paper too much. Ask an adult to help you if you need. Notice that on the back page, there's going to be a big uh, matzah um, velcro over there. Um, I'll explain that next page. But meanwhile, the gold pin is going to go underneath. And now we're up to yachatz. Kadesh urchatz. Karpas yachatz. Right now, yachatz, we break the middle matzah. Now on this page, remember, if you follow the directions carefully, you will have a uh, golden, um, a golden colored... Uh, a golden colored um, piece going through 
going through the page, from the last page, um, don't worry about that. You're going to put a very, you're going to put something on top of it, which I'll just show you right now. So here's a picture of what the Yachatz page will look like when it's done. Um, you're inside your, pa- inside your uh, craft bag, you're going to have a big round matzah. Now the matzah will not be cut. You have to do that. Get a, get a scissors and sort of make a zigzag cut um, up the matzah. Um, you want to make one side a little bit bigger than the other because remember, one side we put away for the afikoma. Remember that. And the way you do it, I'm going to show you, is once you have those two pieces, inside your craft bag, you're going to have a piece of Velcro. Yours is going to be square, I believe. And you put one half um, down on the paper. And the other half you put on the one of the pieces of the matzah. And the other piece of the matzah, you don't have Velcro for. You could just glue that down to the page with, some, with a glue stick or glue. Uh, don't use too much glue because then you'll make the paper all uh, wet and soggy. Just enough to keep it uh, stuck down. And then you could actually, when you get up to the Yachatz page during the Haggadah, you could actually break your middle matzah and crack it off. And that is how you'll put it back on. You'll show everybody at the table, oh, look, I broke the middle matzah off. And, of course, um, it's just an illusion. You can put it back on. Now, there's also a Dvar Torah to put on the bottom of this page. See where it says Yachatz over there. And the Dvar Torah is, why do we hide the piece that we are saving for the Afikoma? And the answer is, because we are making the Seder exciting for the children, so they all stay up until the end of the Seder, when we will eat the Afikoman. So we break the middle matzah and we put it away so the kids want to stay up and wait for the Afikoman. So that is a nice Dvar Torah you can put over there. Okay, boys and girls, this is the Magid page. Kadesh, Urchatz, Karpas, Yachatz, Magid. What do we do by Magid? Magid, we tell the story of the Haggadah Shel Pesach. How do we tell the story? Well, there's a special book called the Haggadah. And the Haggadah tells us the story of going out of Mitzrayim. And in the Haggadah, we have the four questions. So you're going to have a special craft on this page. You can color the cup. And here is Bori Priyagafen, which we're going to make after we finish Magid on the second cup of wine. But first, we have to read Magid. And part of that is the four questions. So here's going to be a little craft that you're going to make right over here. So this is what it's going to look like when it's done. There's going to be a little book that you're going to make attached to the Magid page and a Dvar Torah on the bottom. I'm going to show you how to make that book. You can see here that the book is open. You see it's like a little book that's attached to your Haggadah. So how do you do that? How do you make it look like a little book? So inside your your Haggadah, remember I told you there's going to be a bunch of different pages that are going to be used for cutting up and putting in the Haggadah. So this is one of those pages, and this is what you're going to make the book out of. First of all, you can get your crayons or markers or colored pencils and color it nicely as you wish. Then, okay, you're going to cut out each of these squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, you're going to save this one over here. Because that's going to be the one that you're going to glue to the back of the Haggadah. So when you um, cut all of these out, what you're going to do is you're going to put them in order. Okay, This is obviously the cover. It says Haggadah Shel Pesach. Now, these are the four questions that are going to be in order. So here it says number one. So that's going to be the first page after that. Then this is going to be the second page, the question of... Sha'or Yira, coat the vegetables. And then the third page is going to be dipping. All right, the third question. And the fourth page is going to be Mesubin, about why we lean. And the last page is going to be this blank page. Now, once you put it together like a little book, you're going to take a stapler and get your parents to help you with this. And you're going to put in a couple staples, one, two, or three, whatever you want. Um, and you put a couple staples here, and then you're going to put some glue 
on the back of the book and you're going to glue it onto the page. So your glue is going to go on the back and you're going to stick it on the page and the other pages you can open up just like a book. And you're going to put a Dvar Torah on the bottom. And this is the Dvar Torah that we're going to put, the one that says Magid. You'll cut it out and put it here or fold it up, whatever you want. It says, On Lel HaSeder, the night of the Seder, we have a Minhag, a custom, not to fill our own wine cups, but to serve each other. Do you know why? Because on Pesach, we're like masters who are served and not like slaves who must take care of themselves. Okay? So that's the Dvar Torah that's going to go over here. And that is the Magid page.